Welcome to the Cube. We are on the ground at the Computer History Museum. I'm Lisa Martin. We're here with the Association for Corporate Growth at Silicon Valley. It is their 13th annual Grow Awards. Very excited to be with one of the sponsors tonight, Haley Tabor, VP of Global Industries at Dell EMC. Welcome to the Cube. Thank you. So Haley, you have a amazing background in technology. You've been leading diversity and growth for a lot of big companies. But something that's very interesting that I'd love to tell you about is, as a technology leader, you've had lunch with some of the royal family yeah. in the UK. <laughs> tell us about that. See, how did you know that? But, <laughs> um, yeah, you know, it's interesting because years ago, um, I, a company I worked for at the time sponsored McLaren, and McLaren opened a new innovation factory. And um, the Queen and Prince Philip had a special interest in race cars. So I got invited to the grand opening, and it was just wonderful to see um, someone like her so interested in technology. And it was it was great. We we talked a lot, and yeah, it was just, she was very engaged. Once in a lifetime experience. Yeah, right. <laughs> so you have, as I mentioned, been a veteran in technology. What presumably you're, you're in high demand. What is it about ACG that really deems that worthy of your time? Right, and and I'm a new board member to ACG, so this is my first really big event, so it's really exciting for me. You know, there's lots of different platforms for great networking. What I love particularly about this one is the topics that are being covered, the, the C-level executives and their energy and their real genuine interest in the networking aspect of this and how we can share together and just in the two meetings I've attended, I've, I've already learned a lot, so I think it's just a great platform. Fantastic. Well, tonight, they are recognizing uh, Twilio as the Emerging Growth Award winner for 2017 and uh, NVIDIA as right. the Outstanding Growth Award winner. As you look at what these companies have to do to be recognized at this level, what are, and you've been working with companies to help them achieve growth and scale, what is it that, how do businesses grow and scale in this digital economy you got the IT side, you got the business side. What is your recommendation for those two sides coming together to foster that growth? You know, I, I think it has a lot to do with the people and the plan. And what I've seen successful in working with our customers, and I've seen parts of businesses that I've worked with really accelerate growth, like our award winners tonight, it's been really about the right research being done to say, what are we going to then go and develop that's going to impact the business? But what's important is the CIO's roles changed, right? So now you're seeing the CIO almost like, you know, the broker of information and becoming much more aligned with the innovation of the business. And I think it's a change agent, it's a critical role. And I think those are some enablers that as you're seeing the shift in how IT takes an active role in the strategy of a company and their business growth. And the speed has to be a big factor in that, Absolutely. right? And being competitive. Do Absolutely. you see it as a cultural shift that has to be present to drive this digital transformation, like the actual culture of the company, you mentioned historical, traditional roles changing. Right. How do you see kind of the cultural side impacting that? Yeah, that's a great question because, you know, it's interesting. I've been in tech for a while, and when you look at the role that collaboration plays in culture today, it's completely different than it was 20 years ago. And I think some of the most successful organizations in the world, especially here in the Valley, that are impacting the world, really are getting that collaboration driven into their culture. And I'm seeing that in the organization I work for, and I think it's a big it's a big change factor, and I think it's critical. Speaking of change factors, a lot of innovation comes from Silicon Valley, we know that, but a lot of it comes from other parts of the world. What are some of the things that you've seen coming from overseas that are influencing development, new companies, and digital transformation here in Silicon Valley? Well, you know, that touches on the topic of diversity. And I am a, a, a big um, advocate of diversity. I think around the world, we are tapping into skills and companies, and we want to learn, and we want to collaborate. And you're seeing big multinational companies really driving that. So I like to think of diversity, collaboration, is enabling that speed for transformation. And, and that's where I think where we are tapping into those pockets of the world, we're leveraging that global expertise and bringing that together, I think, is a, is, is a real key to that time to market and that speed and that transformation journey. Great insight. Haley, friend of Queen Elizabeth, thank you so much for joining us thank on you. the Cube. We appreciate you being thank here. Thank you so much. Great to meet you, Lisa. Likewise. Thanks. And we want to thank you for watching the Cube. We're on the ground with ACG at the Computer History Museum. Thanks for watching.